What is going on Outlaws and Gunners, it's your boy Death and today we're going to give you all the information so you can be the fastest gun in the west. We're going to cover everything to know about weaponry. You see detailed depth and choice to find every aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2 and weapons are no exception. There are over 50 unique and usable weapons, a massive range of options for customization and a wide selection of different ammunition types to improve accuracy, range or damage. The more a gun is used the better it will perform but it will also start to degrade over time if not looked after so a trusty sidearm needs to be kept oil and clean. Now if that didn't tell you guys enough let me put it to you this way. We're pretty much going to have to take care of every single one of our weapons making sure they're in tip top shape so we can blow as many heads as possible as easily as possible. So it's really cool that we're going to actually have to take care of our weapons so they can perform even better and the more they're used the better they will perform. This makes it really interesting because when you find the weapon you really like that one weapon you're going to be able to rank it up and become a master with that specific weapon and I'm really excited to get a deeper look into this system. Now let's take a look at some of the guns we're going to see in the game. Some of these are fan favorites. There's so much information to look at so I'm just going to break down some basic information. This is the Cattleman Revolver. Relish the pleasure of this revolver. A militia favorite. The Frontline Revolver still as powerful as ever really cool weapon as you can see there's so much information you guys can read up on it I won't cover all of this because it's just so much stuff but it's so interesting that they're giving us so much information in their page in their website like guys if this is all the information we're seeing on their website can you imagine the detail can you imagine all the stuff they put into the game it's it's incredible here we have the volcanic pistol Handy for feuds and strife, the most explosive pistol ever produced. It looks incredible, just look at this, it's freaking beautiful, I can't wait to get my hands on this. And that's just one of 50 different weapons that are going to be in the game. So imagine all the diversity with these weapons. Here we have another one, the Springfield Rifle, a perfect shot crafted by Lancaster. We fully guarantee this gun, the rifle that modernized firepower. A powerful hunting partner so guys here we have another incredible weapon that gives so much information on the creators when it's from everything that it does how it fires and it's really cool that they give us all of this only two weeks away so we have a lot of information to look at while we wait for the launch here we have the sawed off shotgun a young man's first gun for the man that enjoys wielding an honest surprise where it may lack range it does not lack power really cool weapon they're giving us so much variety with these guns and I really like all the information they're providing as I told you I haven't read them all but I will definitely read every single one of them as soon as I'm done with this video I'm just making sure you guys get the information as soon as I have the opportunity to check it out myself now we have the Litchfield repeater really cool weapon you guys are definitely gonna like this one I highly advise you pick it up and check it out as soon as you can the rifle that brought peace to the plains, a majestic lever action breech loading rifle. This is a powerful good rifle. I really like this weapon. It's going to be one of my favorites and as I told you guys, definitely check it out. Now let's get back to what we were saying. All these guns are really unique and really awesome. They have a really cool feel to them and every single one of these manufacturing companies does a great job giving you the feel they're supposed to have. You're going to feel like you're holding the real deal, the real weapon, especially now that we have the opportunity to play in first person. Now let's take a look at something even more in depth, weapon choice and customization. With a maraud of customization options ranging from visual upgrades like new metals, woods, varnishes and engravings to performance upgrades like new barrels, grips, sights and scopes, you can design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want it to. Every weapon's performance varies in terms of damage, range, fire rate, accuracy and reload speed so it's important to pick wisely depending on the situation. The high fire rate of a double action revolver lends itself well to shooting on the move from horseback. If you're carrying something in one hand like a lantern or a small animal, consider using a sawed off shotgun which packs a much bigger punch at close range than any other one handed weapon. 
The varmint rifle is perfect for hunting small game because it's less likely to damage the quality of the skin and meat than a firearm with bigger shell size. When faced with just one or two enemies, you might want to go for a Springfield rifle which has a slower rate of fire but delivers a much higher damage. For range, a sniper rifle of some kind is obviously a good choice, but scopes can also be fitted to all other types of rifle, enabling you to switch between regular view and scope view at any time. Guys, the customization is on point in this game, there's so much we can do. You guys don't have any idea. We still have much more to cover when it comes to weapons. This is just the beginning. Metals and engravings are customizable per component. Select different colors and engravings for the trigger, guard, barrel, frame, and more. You can also choose from a variety of inlay metals for the engravings on each part. The customization just keeps on getting better. We're actually going to be able to pick different colors and metals for multiple pieces of our gun, making them really unique. And this is going to go online as well, so we're really going to be able to make our own complete guns. For extra stopping power, purchase and craft a variety of ammo types such as the split point, high velocity or explosive ammo. So on top of the gun customization, we're going to have different types of ammo. This is going to keep things really interesting, especially when it comes to the online mode of the game. I can't wait to see all the different types of ammo they're not letting us see at the moment. Now, that's not all, there's still a lot more. Your horse's saddle will store all of your weapons. Be sure to select and carry the weaponry you'll need when you're leaving your horse behind. So pretty much it's like you're really there with your horse and you can't really just pack all your weapons and put them in your pocket like on most other games. GTA, like you would pull out a rocket launcher out of your backpack pretty much out of your shoe and shoot up a house. You can't do that on this game. What you really want to do is you pick up the weapons you're going to use on your mission and you take them with you. Carry single-handed pistols, revolvers, and the single-handed sawed-off shotgun in your holster. Upgraded and reinforced holsters will protect the weapons from degrading and against the elements while off-hand holsters give you the ability to dual wield. Now, on top of our guns, on top of the ability to pimp them out, we still can pimp out the utensils that we use to take care of our weapons, our holsters, our ammo bags, and a lot more. Now, Deadeye is a powerful weapon of its own, temporarily slowing down time during combat so you can pick off your enemies with more precision. You guys have seen this a whole bunch in a lot of trailers. The new Deadeye system gradually expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game, from automatically selecting targets in your crosshairs to allowing you to manually place shots on multiple targets to being able to shoot at will in slow motion, and ultimately pinpoint the weak spots on your enemies for even deadlier accuracy. The system grows with you and your experience and can often provide the critical edge in a life or death situation. You guys will learn to love the Deadeye. It's an incredible feature, it's really fun and it can definitely get you out of a life or death situation. You're going to use it so much in the game. I'm going to be uploading Red Dead Redemption 1 gameplay and you guys are going to see how it can get you out of a tight spot and how it's so fun to use. Preserving and unleashing Deadeye in a gunfight with multiple enemies can be a critical strategy for turning the battle in your favor. You can literally turn everything with just one use of the Deadeye. You can place at least 6 or 7 markers on your enemies and just let loose after that, killing every single one of them if you've placed your markers correctly. So always remember, aim for the head, and if you can't, aim at the weak spots. You guys will definitely learn to love the Deadeye system. All you gotta do is aim, activate it, paint your enemies and targets, and unleash a rapid fire hail of bullets. All you gotta do is aim, literally aim, place the markers exactly where you want them, and as soon as you let go, it's gonna be like a Wild West shootout. You're just gonna go bam, 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 bam instantly. You guys won't even know how fast you're hitting. It's incredible. 
As the Deadeye progresses over the course of the game, you will be able to see critical and fatal points on your enemies such as the heart, brain, and lungs. As I told you guys, you want to focus on the head. That's the main spot. As we all know, there is nothing. There is no coming back after a headshot. But there are also very important weak points as you can see right here. As you progress and get deeper into the game, you will be able to see these weak spots and you will also be able to one shot or to be more precise, fatally wound an enemy. Now, keep in mind that Deadeye drains over time as you use it. You can replenish it quickly in combat by consuming provisions or tonics. So if you're in a tight spot and you really need the Deadeye, you can bring it back up by consuming provisions. But you can also bring it up the old fashioned way by shooting up everybody with your guns. Now, that's about everything I wanted to tell you, everything I wanted to share with you. I'm going to be letting you enjoy some awesome little clips that I found online in the actual page. That's about it. If you guys want me to cover anything in particular, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. I will start uploading Red Dead Redemption 1 probably tomorrow or the next day, as well as giving you guys more information on the giveaway. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time and your boy Death Gun. Out.